accomplish the miraculous journeys of Edward Tulane. When Edward went to the little girl Sarah Ruth, because I had a little sister, she was five years old and she didn't make it. I read the book with her, part of it, but then part of it I did not. So I had to ask her about the Sarah Ruth because I didn't read that section of the book. And Sarah Ruth was a little girl that didn't make it. And Edward was her friend during her time before when she got sick. And I thought that was really interesting for her to connect with that part of the book because she had a little sister and her little sister recently didn't make it. So I think it's kind of um, interesting that she be reading this book during some uh, during an event uh, like that happening in her life. I mean, mind you, she's young and she's resilient and she's okay. And but um, from that experience, but then to have that experience somewhat mimicked in the book she's reading was almost therapeutically helpful for her in a way that we didn't realize before she started committing to this to doing the book club. Um, because it reminds me of losing my other my very special toy that I love, Mr. Levy. I got my Mr. Levy when I was born, um, and I never got rid of him. Because I really like him. I mean, love him. <laughs> and he has a little dress thing, the little thing on him, um, that says, I love hugs, and I love hugs. <laughs> just like Edward's um, experience was at the end, bottom of the ocean, which seemed like it would be the end of his life, right? But it wasn't, it was just a phase. And I think what that says is that everybody's life goes through a phase. And then at some point that phase will end and bring you to a new beginning. If you lose something, it's okay. And I'll get to see Harper again, but not for a long time. Just like in the book. This is really the last book that they read together um, or that she got to read to Harper. So that was kind of a, it's kind of gonna be a memorable book, I think, in our family for that reason.